guys, Kat here, and today we have a full body workout, so it's going to be cardio strength and abs. Every exercise will be 45 seconds on with 15 seconds rest. During those 15 seconds, I'll tell you exactly what the next movement is. So, let's get warmed up. Remember to go at your own pace. Right now, right? Roar. All right, let's start it out by bouncing it out. Ready? Nice and easy, keeping that core nice and strong. Let's go for three, two, one. Start bringing those knees a little bit higher, just a little bit. Keep it going. Three, two, and a little bit higher. Ba, 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 ba. Starting to get the heart rate up. And even higher. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Feet out wide, arms out. We're going to reach across the body, open up the chest, squeeze that back. Reach and squeeze. And squeeze, keep it going all the way. Pshew. Sound effects are necessary and they make the workout better. One more and go ahead, butt kicks. So think about bringing those knees in front a little bit so we can kick that booty in back. Keep going, it's gonna be a great day. Hey! One, nice job, shake it out. All right, we're gonna go with those back lunges. So alternating those legs. You can keep your hands on your hips if you want to. Step behind you, sink down. Now you wanna think about sinking straight down rather than forward or back. So place that weight midfoot to heel. You wanna think elevator, not escalator. Keep it going, alternate. Getting those legs warmed up, booty. Go two more. Shoo. Last one. And go ahead. Shakey, shakey. All right. From here, stabilize on one leg because we will have stability today. So go ahead. We're going to go with some semicircle swings. Feel free to use your arms. Keep your core nice and strong. Try not to curl the toes of the leg that you're stabilizing on. The faster the swing, the bigger the swing, the more challenging it's going to be. Let's go two more. Last one, switch. One side might be a little bit wonkier than the other, so just make sure you take your time. Again, keeping that core nice and strong. Let's go two more on this side. Last one, and right to jumping jacks. So touching the hands at the top, jumping the feet out. Word. Don't skimp on this warm up. Gotta get our body ready, gotta get our heart rate going. So it's not too much of a shock when we get into the workout. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, from here, we're gonna come into a plank position, hands under the shoulders. Go ahead, press in a down dog, and bring it back in a plank. So really think about pressing through those fingertips and palms. Common mistake I see when doing this, people walk their hands back. You wanna keep your hands exactly where they are. We're just pushing those hips up, folding in half. Let's go two more. Get in those shoulders, last one. And bring your right hand, sorry, right foot, to the outside of the right hand. Open up that chest and alternate. Open up, keep it going. This is really nice because warms up the shoulders, that core, those legs, gets a little bit of mobility and stretching, which is awesome. Let's go one more. Nice job. And go ahead, jump or step up, slowly roll it up, and bounce it out one more time. Almost ready to get started. We're gonna end out with some skaters, a little bit of stability, a little bit of cardio. So start off on one side, hop, and step. Now if you need to walk it out, that is your option, okay? So you can totally do that. But if you can get a little more, get a little more. Let's 
Let's go a few more. Last four, three, two, one, and let's get started. 15 seconds. So we're gonna start with a squat, pivot, and punch. So nothing too crazy yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sink down, squat, pivot, and then punch. Squat, pivot, and punch. Now, keep your chest up, keep your back flat. Get ready, let's go. Squat, squat, pew. You can add weight if you want to. I know a lot of you are stuck at home right now though, so I just wanted to make sure that more people were available to do this. Now, as we get tired, we tend to drop our chest forward. So make sure back is flat. Try to sink down to at least 90 degrees if your body allows it. Keep it going. See, this one starts out pretty easy. And then as we go on, we're like, oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Let's go one more after this. All right, so from here, we have a narrow side jump. Feet close together. Jump to the side, single leg, and come up. Jump to the side, other leg, single leg, chest up, come up. You can always stick with a back lunge like we did in the warm up if that's not for you. But a little bit of cardio here, a little bit of stability. If you want to, so you can add a front kick just because it's kind of fun. <laughs> Woo! But make sure you're stable before you add that front kick in. Keep going. Yes. Hop. That's just fun. This is just fun. Really gonna burn out those quads. Whoops. After this. So it happens when I talk. Three, two, all right, so duck walk. Now, this is the more challenging version. You're sitting down as low as you can. Heel to toe, forward, toe to heel back. You can move sideways, you can do whatever you want. If that's too much for your knees, stick with a squat walk. All right, let's go. So make sure you listen to your body. This is just staying down low. Move forward. Move back, move to the side, whatever it is that you want to do. I always like to pretend there's like a rope above us or something and we're crawling underneath it. That's just, I always feel like a video game character. Woo. Keep going. Go side here. Get funky with it. Oh, those legs. All right, nice job. So, next up, alternate legs. So make sure you pay attention. Bend the stabilizing leg slightly. Single leg deadlift. This left knee comes up, kick. Now we're stabilized on the other leg. Single leg deadlift. Knee up, kick, stabilize. Let's go. Yep. And remember, this is a video. So, if you can't get it down right away, it's okay. You don't have to get frustrated with yourself. There's enough frustration in the world right now. <laughs> so just rewind it. Try it again. No big deal. Woo! Keep that, guys. Once you get this one down, it's really fun. You can take out the jump if you need to and just drive the knee up and then kick. Five, four, Three, two, all right. See, yeah, I love that one. <laughs> all right, knee to ankle, hand to foot skips. Coordination, baby. So, knee, ankle, knee, and ankle. Let's get it. If you can't get it down, walk it out, okay? So, this is coordination, this is cardio, and this is core. Three C's, baby. So hopefully, Take the time to nail this one. You might feel like a dancer, which is even better. You're welcome. 20 seconds. Keep going. Last 10. 
almost there. Four, three, two. All right, so, all right, so next one. We're gonna come into a lunge. You're gonna switch, come down, step back, step up with the same leg, and switch. Down, bring it up, and switch. If that's too much for you, you can stick with back lunges for two, come down to the plank. All right, let's go. So make sure whichever leg that you just stepped up with, you're gonna switch. Another thing, make sure you're not here when you switch. Back is flat. Come up and jump if you can. Step back, step up. I was like, Justin, what should I do? He's like, oh, what about this? And this is a slight different variation of what he showed me, but I was like, you just gave me an idea. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, so, ooh, yay. So, stabilize on your right leg. We're gonna go with front kick, bring your leg to the side, crunch, bring it back. Same leg the whole time. So make sure you remember which leg. So, front kick, bring it out, crunch, bring it back. Try to hover that left foot the whole time. So funny because people are like, what does hover mean? And I'm like, is that not like a common word? If it's your second language, I understand. <laughs> but I, I get that so often where they're like, what's hover? And I'm like, you know, like a, like a spaceship hovering off the ground. <laughs> but I guess it's not common, so. Phew, that's good to know. Phew. Keep up, guys. Try not to curl the toes on that stabilizing foot. Phew. <sighs> All right, so next up, with that right leg we just stabilized on. Step to the side, push your butt back. Back is flat, left leg is straight. Come back, hop and swing. This is all stabilizing on the right leg. So right leg to the side, come back, hop on the right, semi-circle swing just like the warm-up. Step, push your butt back, hop on the right, or just burning out that right side. Keep your chest up. Again, if you can't get it down right away, that's okay. That's okay, we're here to learn. We're here to move our bodies in different ways and really challenge it in different ways. And that is so cool. It doesn't have to be just squats and lunges. It can be a combination of movements, challenging ourselves in all the ways. So we're getting strength here, we're getting stability, we're getting plyometrics. Very cool, coordination. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna go to the other side for the front kick. So I'm gonna stabilize on my left leg, front kick, balance, and crunch. Yay! All right, so I just think it's so important to work our stability, especially as we get older. I am almost 30. <laughs> I gotta keep this up. I gotta make sure that I stay balanced in all the ways in life. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Nice job, guys. Kick. Some of you are like, but I thought you were like 16. I know. <laughs> 10 years ago. Or 10 years ago. 10 seconds left. Wow. 10 years ago. Cat, you old crook. Three, two, one. All right, so we're going to go with that side lunge hop. Semi circle swing. Semi circle swing. Okay. You ready? All right, let's go. Three. Oh, no, that's five. See, I'm almost 30, I need to get my eyes checked. <laughs> Fun fact, I wear one contact. Apparently, one of my eyes is just fine. Sink down, come up, hop. It's quite convenient, because when you fall asleep by accident, then like, only one of your eyes is dry or gooey, depending on the nap. <laughs> Keep up, guys. 20 seconds. Then we're going to be going back to some serious cardio. Yes. Oh, fun. Whoops. And back. Five, 
four, three, two. All right, so next up, what we're gonna do is fighter stance. Hands up, uppercuts for four. One, two, three, four. You're gonna switch and tuck stance. So one, two, three, four, tuck. So now my other leg is forward. And right, let's go. One, two, three, four. If it's too much to do the tuck, you can walk it, or you can do a small hop. One, two, three, four. Woo. One, two, four. Keep your core strong. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nice job, guys. I wish we were doing stability again. <laughs> Four, three, two. Okay, so we're gonna go to one side. Heisman run. So if I'm on my left, my left side, if I'm going to the right, my right foot is up. One, two, three, four, five. Now when I go to the left, my left foot is up. Pump your arms. Two, three, four, five. So I like this one because Yes, it's cardio. It really makes us drag our knees up more than regular high knees. But at the end, there's a stability factor. And I think that's really important to learn how to go, 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 and then be able to stop and control. Touchdowns if burpees aren't for you. Keep your chest up, feet together. You're gonna to come down, squat touchdown, burpee. All right, let's go. Now, again, if the burpee isn't for you, you can skip it. You can go to a plank burpee. That's all right as well. Okay. Down up. Don't forget to jump at the top. Four, 
three, two, one. All right, so I thought I'd try something new and have it come a little bit closer so you can see the abs. So we're gonna have our ankle right above the knee, support your lower back, straighten out your right leg, pop it straight up and come down. Single leg reverse crunch. Let's go. Now, if this is too much for you, try bending that right knee in. That might help you a little bit. Pop. If you can straighten it out, try straighten it out. Tuck your chin, your chest. Using that core. Let me know if you like this where I have the camera closer so you can see the movement better. Sometimes, I don't know, I feel like maybe that'll help you. I'm trying all these new things. So yay! Keep rocking it guys. Exhale up, inhale down. Really pop up there. All right, so rest it. Because guess what? We're doing the other side right away. Cat, you're so mean. I know. So, across that ankle, right above that knee. Support that lower back. Get ready. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Pop it up. You guys made it this far already. Mm -hmm. So that means you can do it. You can finish it. And I know I haven't mentioned this before. But if you're new to my channel, working ever since I started working my core nearly every day for like five to 15 minutes, I've noticed so much change, not just aesthetically, but physically in my capabilities. Every movement has now become stronger. Whew. So, highly recommend doing that. Ugh. Okay. So next up, oh, this is so mean. Okay, <laughs> so we're, well, actually this is not too bad. We're gonna do crunch and twist first. So you're gonna press up, crunch, twist towards the opposite knee. Crunch it up and twist. I decided to switch the last two movements to give your neck a break just in case someone doesn't know how to um, activate their core as much and their neck jumps in. So if you ever feel neck pain from these movements, make sure you're not pulling on your neck. A uh, weird trick is to put the tongue on the roof of your mouth. And another thing is maybe you need to modify so your core gets stronger, so that way you know how to use it rather than have your neck jump into the movement. Whew. Four, three, two, Let's be even. And one. Nice job, guys. All right. So we have one leg bicycle. Oh my goodness. We're going to do 22 seconds on one side, 22 on the other. So we're going to go like this, just to one side. Now, if that's too much for you, plant that other leg. Still twist the opposite side. Ooh. Keep it up, guys. Use that breath. I'm gonna have to modify. And switch legs. Oh my goodness. So if you feel that lower back jump in, make sure you modify. My core is just tired. Let's see if I can finish the last 10 seconds. Four, three, Two, oh, last move, guys. Superman pulses for 10. So it's just so important to work that lower back. It is part of that core. It helps us with our posture. Neck neutral, pulse for 10. And then come down. I know it looks funny. I know it feels funny. But I want your lower back to feel this in a good way. <laughs> Four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Neck neutral. Lift up those feet. Two, three, six, seven, nine, ten. Whew. One, two, four, five, six, nine, ten. Nice job, guys. Almost there. So last move, never stretching. Four. 
eight, and turn, keep breathing the whole time. Well, just kidding, we're done. You're done, okay. <laughs> All right, guys, yay! Let's see if I can make this thing be quiet. It gives that one last, like, I have a little bit more in me. All right, guys, so thank you so much for joining me. We are gonna stretch it out. Super important to do, to take advantage of your body being a little bit more warmed up and more stretchable. If you do have to go, please do like the video before you go uh, and write a comment. It really helps out my channel so much. So yeah, all right, yay, Rawr. All right, well, since we have the camera right here, we might as well stretch it up right here. So we're gonna lay down. Go ahead, bring your right knee in your chest and palm. Relax here. Feel free to add some ankle movements. Breathe. And then go the other way. Let's stop center, bring that knee to the outside, opening up that hip. I know this move might be a little bit uncomfortable, um, but it's really nice to open up that inner thigh, those hips. So make sure you breathe into it instead of resisting the stretch, because this one's really easy to tense up. In. And with that left hand, we're gonna grab the right knee, and bring it over. And you'll feel this in your glutes, spine twist, so nice. Breathe. Just think about with every exhale, you're melting into the stretch a little bit more. Go ahead, bring it back to center, and let's switch. Bring it in and seat. And roll up the ankle if you want to. Now, like I said, in our workouts, like it's, it's no, no need to get frustrated if you don't get the movement down right away. If you mess up or you goof on a, a movement, it's really no big deal. Bring that knee to the outside. Exercise is movement. It is appreciating our bodies in different ways and showing it care by moving it and giving it that loving movement that it deserves, getting stronger, which is so important to take the time to do. It is not punishment. It's not punishment for what we ate, what we did, anything like that. Go ahead, cross it over. It's a way to express ourselves, which is really, really cool. But if you find yourself just Beating yourself up about, you know, messing up in a workout or even just out in life. Breathe. It's all good. In the, in the grand scheme of things, it's all good. Bring it back to center and down and roll over onto your tummy. Whee! Whee! All right, hands by the chest. Press up. Walk the hands forward if you want. Elbows in. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to move with me. Hands come down. Hands over the chest and press back. Knees out wide, big toes together and sit back for a modified child's pose for the hips. Feel free to move side to side. And let's walk it forward. Knees under the hips, hands under the shoulders. I know this one looks funny, but so nice for our spine. So tuck the chin, the chest, round the back, press belly button into that tummy, press fingertips, palms to the ground. Inhale, open up that chest. Pop that booty. Exhale. It's so funny because in yoga, I'm like, why has no yoga instructor I've ever gone to or done a, a class online ever said pop your booty? because that's legit what we're doing right now. I, I, I will be the one. <laughs> Exhale. They're always like, and make sure you have that curve in your spine. And they're all like gentle about it. I'm like, pop that booty, let's go. <laughs> let's be real now. Exhale. I should become a yoga instructor. No, no, no. And inhale. <laughs> Do you guys ever want a yoga class? I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> and go ahead, bring it back. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Let's come into crisscross applesauce. Mmm. Food. Okay. So relax that neck entirely. Take your right hand 
swear to me that you'll come back. No, I'm just kidding. Um, then bring it to the left side of that head. Relax your neck entirely. Get it pull. Swear your your allegiance to me. <laughs> I'd be the funniest evil person. Like villain in a movie. Oh my goodness. And slowly bring it back to center. Shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, other side. Pull. Breathe. And bring it back to center. A few side to sides. We're almost done. We're gonna have to sparkle down here. Oh my gosh! Okay, so let's do that. Shaky, shaky. Go ahead, clasp the hands in front, pull the shoulders in, big inhale out, and exhale. A oh, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. We are done for today! Yay! We did it! You guys did it! We completed a crazy, awesome full body workout. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Please do like the video before you go. I'll give you a second. I'll give you a second to crawl to your keyboard. Press that like button. Beautiful, thank you. And also, if you could comment below as well, it helps out my channel so much. When YouTube sees there's more activity on a video, then it bumps it up and it's like, oh, people like this, I'm gonna show it more. So be keeping it honest. Um, another thing, if you do wanna support my channel uh, even more, there is a link in my description. So support my channel, takes to the thing, and it's like, oh, what, what kind of, what, do you, what, what should we do for cat? No, I'm just kidding, that sounds weird. Um, but maybe it'll pop your curiosity. Um, anyway, thank you guys again so much for joining me. Hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Remember, be kind to yourself. It's really easy to get and beat ourselves up, but there is no reason to do that. Let's not do that. Let's stop that right now. Don't be a bully to yourself. Uh, yeah. Have a great day. Do all the things. La 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 la. Rawr.